That makes me good. That makes good TV. Hey, so, uh, <laughs> hey guys, welcome to GhostCrier.com uh, YouTube channel thing. My name's Andrew Thompson. Nick Simon scaring everybody. Nick Simon. <laughs> Doctor Nick. Hello, guys. Now, right now, today, we're in the most haunted house in the Quad Cities of Iowa. <laughs> There's been one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven deaths, I think, right about there, at least. Um, at least a baker's dozen of people have died in this house. It's true. It's second, second to, to Gettysburg. Yes. I believe. <laughs> Typically, we do like dentist officer, nice, you know, places. So actually, we're getting in the nitty gritty, and we're getting some dark history here, guys. Back in the, uh, well, we don't have an exact time frame. If I find it later, we'll uh, work that out. But there's a gentleman, well, I say gentleman loosely. <laughs> um, there was a guy who got drunk, who beat women, who was very violent here in this location. And he, <laughs> Nick's here to, to, to smack some ass. <laughs> Show <laughs> Looks something like this. We're not going to go home right now. What's that? Where can we talk to you? Oh, okay, yeah. So, anyways, he hung himself, yeah. Smacks. <laughs> I, uh, we are not Mr. made for Keegan, this. We're going to talk to you, buddy. <laughs> and we're here with paranormal author Sylvia Schultz. Hey, hey. She's, hey. <laughs> She's the tiniest. We only accept the tiniest. No one can, this is the height limit. No one can go above this. So. We've set the bar, and the bar is here. Don't worry, a majority of the population can actually come with us at that point. Yeah. Shaquille O'Neal cannot. That's so what apparently there's an entity in this house that likes to lock women in the basement bathroom. So that's where we're heading at some point in the evening, or at least I'm heading at some point in the evening. <laughs> that's the first stop. <laughs> Claims of this residence was that this basement door would slam shut and you wouldn't be able to go into the bathroom until the door opened again. A couple quick notes, the bottom of the door is swelled up and expanded and wet because there's a shower right there that can stand. <laughs> where's Sylvia? <laughs> Where did she go? She just left. Did you get a toilet flush? No. <laughs> it's outside. Uh, I saw the door earlier, actually. Massive amounts of rain. That drain can't keep up. Oh, the drain can't keep up, no. Comes in through the door, floods the basement. Okay. We're just knocking out this investigation. Riddle me this. Yeah, we're going to be at home watching NCIS before we go. Well. Now this door. There we go. Now this door. <laughs> now you made a homeless home, or you know, transit. Sorry, guys. Yeah. All right, let's hit him with the spirit. All right. All right. <laughs> Sylvia also has a great speaking voice, so if you get a chance to listen to the podcast, you. lights out. She's uh, had me on the brink of falling asleep with this awesome ASMR, <laughs> giving me like tingles and making my hair stand up on end. So if you're ever trying to fall asleep and you can't fall asleep and you like spooky things, lights out. With it's Sylvia like, Schultz. Bedtime with Sylvia. Wait, that's uh, a that's wrong. <laughs> well, hey, I'm up for that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, my girlfriend, Nicole Boo. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a couch right here. The TV was right there by that window. Uh, the game's going to be simple, guys. The game is going to be simple. Those are two balls. You see them right there in the middle of the floor by that orange box. The orange box only allows us to see the environment, how that's reacting uh, to kind of the situation, to us, to you, to the whole scenario. We want to know you are here. Again, we want to share your story. We want to document this and let science know that you exist. You're somebody. It's just unfortunate that you don't have that physical body, but honestly, we're all going to... We're going to dip this shell at some point and join you guys. We just want to let you know and understand that this is normal. It's a normal process of life. You're still living. It's just a whole different version of what you understand. Or maybe you do understand. I would like you to move those balls, please. 
if you can touch one ball to the other, you might have to focus. And if there's multiple in the room here, do what you can to focus. Please, show us what you can do. Come on, I know you're trying and I appreciate that. Push a little harder. <laughs> Again, we want to speak with you. It's going to be pretty amazing because um, not too many folks, I'm sure, come down here to talk with you. Um, if they do, you don't expect to speak back. Well, we can hear you now and we want to speak with you. So before we've asked you some questions, we may ask you some of the same questions. Again, my name's Aaron. We have Sylvia in the room. We have Jared rocking the camera and we have my good investigator buddy of mine, Nick, behind me. We're here. Um, just to find some answers, see what's going on. There seems to be a lot of activity in the home and we want to see if it's validated. So if you can help us out and we can see if we can even help you um, if you allow us to. But let's start off with an easy one. What is your <coughs> name? It does matter. Tell us your story. We, we, we want to know who you are. You want to say that again? Reverse. We have to reverse that and post. Yeah, I can tell. We probably got a, We probably got something, but it's behavior of the program, unfortunately. Okay. Um. Is it always that loud? Right, it's actually on the lower volume. Wow. Are we talking? <coughs> are we talking with Mr. Keegan? Are we talking? Are we talking with John? Yeah. Okay, John. John, are you here? John, are you sad that Sherry's gone? Are you upset that Sherry had to leave? How did you take your life? Can you share with us how and why? Now John didn't commit suicide. Oh, he tried he tried to, but he died of other causes. 
Keegan is one. Of them. Mr. Keegan, can you tell us what drove you to kill yourself? that this is really you coming through everyone and we want to help you out the best we can with answers and whatever else we can do to prove that this machine is working i want you to say something say nicholas simons very good very good thank you thank you very much what year did Keegan own this house? Because I'm going to cross-reference it. We're going to find out if you're telling the truth or not. Nineteen twelve. He's out of the house. His mother, my ex-wife, name is Sherry, and my girlfriend's name is Sherry. So, anyhow, my girlfriend, we call him. Do you want to leave here, or do you want to stay in this house? Let's see if we can get some good communication going. Can you tell me what day it is? Little cowbell. <laughs> so guys, that's uh, that's pretty much our pretty. I say pretty much like nothing happened. I think we got some pretty good stuff. Uh, not as good as what I hear you got. So yeah, yeah. Can you feel it? I hung, hung. I, you all tuckered out. We had a big, big day. An investigation. You're the judgy right eyes. For me. Oh jeez. So guys, we're trying to move ghost hunting and paranormal investigation more to a, a professional standard such as as you know advancing the field check us out ghostcrater.com um jared's rocking the the camera work real and, and legit and scientific so that's what we want to do and if you guys want to support us on patreon.com slash ghostcrater thanks everybody for watching love you guts they love you guts love you guts <laughs> peace We'll start to have some fun now.